Hi buddies, my name is Crap Strap and welcome back to Would You Rather? First question, would you rather die on the Hindenburg or die on the Titanic? Well, the Titanic would be freaking freezing and it would take forever, whereas the Hindenburg just like, boom, a little bit of Bernie and then you're dead. Be nice and toasty. So I'd have to say the Hindenburg, definitely, definitely, definitely. What? Why would you rather die on the Titanic? It would take you hours to die, and you'd also be really freaking cold and wet. Some people, I don't know. Right, what's next question? Would you rather have an average house in the middle of a city, or have a mansion miles away from civilization? Easy, mansion away from civilization, because I, I, I don't like hustle and bustle. I'm not, like, into that kind of stuff. I like the quietness. I like a bit of solitude, and if I was miles away, you know, I could just get a little moped and, you know, drive into town whenever I want to, like, ee! it'd be great. I mean, <laughs> why would you want to be in an average house when you could be in a mansion? I mean, seriously, it's ridiculous. Would you rather be punched in the face with brass knuckles by Mike Tyson, or punch a toddler and be seen by thousands of people? <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> I, um, no, I, I, just to save face, I'd have to take the punch from Mike Tyson. It would break my entire face. He'd be like, <laughs> and all the spit would come out. It'd be awesome. But it would hurt. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't answer. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay. I'd have to take the punch. I couldn't punch a child. Come on now. Would you rather have Gandalf as your granddad or have Dumbledore as your granddad? Well, they're, they're both wise, they're both magic, but I don't know. I think I prefer Dumbledore myself, because he's, he's more humble, whereas Gandalf is just like, YOU SHALL NOT PASS! And whereas Dumbledore is just like, Harry, Harry Potter, you are the chosen one. And stuff like that. He doesn't actually say that, but you know what I mean. Right, yeah, Dumbledore, definitely. I love Dumbledore. And it was equal. <laughs> everyone, everyone likes everyone. Brilliant. Would you rather bring people back from the edges of death, but each time it takes a year off your life? Or be able to grant wishes, but each time you forget a beautiful, meaningful memory from your past? Ooh. Ooh. Now, if I could bring people back from the edge of death... But it doesn't say how far it'd bring them. Because then, if it was to say, bring them back from the edge of death, but only by a day, and then that's kind of pointless. And I've just wasted a year of my life for no valid reason. Whereas, if I was able to grant wishes, but forget my own memories, I have a terrible memory anyway. Sometimes I can't even remember what I ate 20 minutes ago. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> so I'd be able to grant wishes. Hell, can you imagine the, all the good you could do? Yeah, grant wishes, definitely. Definitely. Why did no one agree? I mean, what? Uh, if you were to grant a wish, the wish could be, because take me like, away from the edge of death. And I could do that. I don't... <laughs> People are stupid. Oh, my God. Would you rather get stuck in an elevator on your own for 53 hours or be the lone survivor of a bank hostage situation? Get stuck on my own in an elevator? I don't want people to die. I've been on my own for longer periods of time than that. I'm, I could survive in an elevator. You know, just do a little poo in the corner. And then if I get hungry, eat it maybe. Eat my own poo. <laughs> no. And why would... I don't understand people. It doesn't make sense. Why would you rather have a load of people die and this whole thing just be like major news, lots of people dying and it's not good and you're the literally only person to walk out of it alive. Why, why would people rather have that on their conscience than just be stuck in a lift for 53 hours? 53 hours is not that long. That's two and a half days pretty much. I could do that. Why can't anyone else? Why is everyone else just like, nah? Do you know what? If it was two days, yeah, I'd probably do it. But nah, two and a half days, oh my god, no. Kill them all, kill them, they're all dead, whatever. <laughs> I don't get people, what the hell? Uh, would you rather be Chef Chelios from Crank or be the transporter? Well, Chef Chelios can't stop moving. 
I love the I love both films, but the transporter he can like chill out and you know have a drink and be with a woman without raping her in the street. <laughs> it's Jeff Jellos. I mean, it's life is just constant stress. I'd have to be the transporter because he's cool. I mean, is he not cool? I mean, both of them you get to be Jason Statham, and that's just automatically cool. But uh, I don't know. If Chef Chelios, you'd basically be on the brink of death at every point, so yeah, transporter. And majority of people agree. Cool. Would you rather have a college or university named after you or have a sports stadium named after me? I'm not into sports, I've got to be honest. So I'd probably have to say the college because then people would get knowledge and be like, oh, where did you go? I went to Crap Ginstrap University. Yeah. I think that sounds good, Crap Ginstrap University. That should be a thing. Someone donate a load of money and we can make a school out of my name. <laughs> yeah, I'd do that. Cool, okay. That's fine. Would you rather not be able to sit or not be able to stand? Ooh. 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 <laughs> That's a difficult one. Um... I guess if I couldn't sit, I could lie down. But if I couldn't stand, then I'd never be able to walk anywhere or do anything really for myself. I'd be sort of confined to a wheelchair, I'd imagine. Unless I walk like a really weird, bent-legged kind of person. I'm just like, eh. That, I don't really see how that would work. I'd have to not be able to sit, I think. Yep, cool. Would you rather shrink to one each or grow to three stories? <laughs> One inch, that's like, eee! That's pretty much my head right now in this box. This size. <laughs> um, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be cool being ridiculously small, but it'd also be incredibly limiting. I mean, right now I'm, I, I could be just like, ah, I'm just gonna hop in the car and go to the shops and you know buy myself some toilet roll because I've just done a massive poo. Um, why did I think of that? <laughs> Whereas if I grow three stories, I could be like, I need to go to the shops to get a, a, a you know, Lou Rogs done a massive poo. Granted, being three stories high, it'd be a pretty giant or massive poo. Be huge, the size of a mansion. <laughs> but then I could just like literally take about four or five strides. I'd have to be careful where I step, obviously, but I think I'd grow three stories because that'd be such an easy, it'd be easy to do anything, really. Whereas if you like, if you're as small as my head right now, then Life would be a lot of work. I don't know. Yeah. I'd grow to three stories. Okay. Would you rather be eaten by a lion or eaten by ants? Well, lion, obviously, because then it'd be over quicker. Can like, you imagine being eaten by ants? Imagine how small they are. They're tiny. I mean, yeah, it doesn't even state how many ants. It could be just one or like two ants or something like that. And you could be gradually nibbling at you for about 20 years. It'd take forever! I would want to be beaten by a line, it'd be like, rah! And then just gobble, 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 gobble. And that'd be it! I'd be, I'd be dead. It'd be painful, granted. But so would the ants. Can you imagine just being like 20 years down the line, just like a head? He's like, I hate these ants, this hurts so much. Nah, I'd have to. I don't know what that was either, oh my god. Yeah, eaten by a line, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, last question. Would you rather never eat pizza again or never drink another soda? Oh my god. Oh my god. That is... Oh. Couldn't have ended on a more taxing question for me. Because pizza is pretty much my favourite food. But I also like soda. Mmm. Pizza has cheese. And cheese is awesome. How can you not like cheese? Unless you're lactose intolerant. Um, but soda I could probably live without. There's all kinds of other drinks you could have. It's place, whereas you can't really have anything similar. I mean, you could get some cheese and put them on ketchup and bread, and put that to get you know a little, little toast pizza. But then that would still be pizza. So no, I, I, I would never drink a soda. It'd have to be. I can't give up pizza and cheese. I'm like, come on now, it's chilly. Anyway. If you've enjoyed the episode, like, comment, subscribe, and do what you YouTubers do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out for now. Bye-bye!